Hi everyone, welcome. So this is going to be an investigation into the issue that Hambini brought up regarding the FSA power box power meter crank set. So I've never seen that particular model, but I do have two regular FSA crank sets. So let's take a look at them. So the first guy we have here is an FSA SLK light crank set. And if you look closely at it, hopefully the camera is focusing. There is a lip on this guy too. And I measured the depth of the lip the, or the height of the lip at about 0 0.5 millimeters. Now I do not have an explanation as to why this lip was designed around the spindle, but I don't think it is a problem for this particular crank set. And the reason for that is that this crank set was designed to be installed with this guy between it and the bearing. So this is a secondary seal. It appears to be constructed of steel and it has rubber molded around it. And this guy is quite stiff. It's very stiff. Um, so this is designed to slip over the spindle with the rubber side facing out and this metal exposed side towards the bearing. Also, as a point of interest, I had assumed that this guy was designed to seal against the outer race, but if you look closely at it, you can see there is a gap between the outside rim of the seal and the outer race. So this appears to be designed to seal against the interior of the bottom bracket cup, which is made out of polymer. By the way, these are FSA parts and they came in the same sealed plastic envelope. Okay, so let's take a look at a second FSL crank set. So this guy we have here is a newer model. It's the FSA SLK Modular Adventure Crank Set. And with this guy, as you have noticed, the spindle is attached to the non-drive side. But if you take a look closer look at this, um, the inside of this hole measures approximately uh, 30 millimeters and there is no lip on this guy. However, uh, this guy is not designed to use this secondary seal. It just relies on the seal of the bearings. So I was going to end the video there, but after further consideration, I am just not convinced that FSA isn't a bunch of morons like Dr. Hambini said. And the thing that bothers me is how this secondary seal is designed to seal. I don't understand why it would seal against the bore of the polymer cups and not against the exterior face of the outer race of the bearing. That doesn't make sense to me because the way they have it like this, uh, if there's high pressure water, it would just push the seal out of the way. Whereas if the lip of the seal was up against the outer face of the outer race, then high pressure water would, would act to make the seal better. So um, anyway, if you have any thoughts or comments, please comment below. And especially if you're an engineer from FSA, I'd like to find out what's going on with this. So thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye now.